Welcome back to Unorthodox Reviews, I'm Billy, and today I've noticed a, um, well, recently, uh, not today, but, um, recently I've noticed a slight trend going on with my, um, video traffic. It appears that you guys really like, um, Lava Lock Reviews. Well, I honestly, you guys probably do, but, considering by the numbers that I'm seeing, it's a, it's a good possibility. So today, I'm gonna bring you guys another awesome little Lava Lock Review. So without further ado, let's, um, let's pull this, um, bad boy out and see what we can, um, and just look at it. Here is the wizard lamp. I know I wasn't. I was actually I wasn't anticipating it being this. I, I wasn't expecting this for the um, lamp to be this big right here. I was expecting more of like a 14 inch lamp, but I guess we get a 17 inch one. But anyways, without um, it's, without further ado, let's get to um, unboxing it, which I don't like doing, but we're gonna do it anyway. Look for a weak spot. Aha! I found a weak spot. <clears throat> Oh, I ruined the box. It's, it's fantastic. Whatever. Now, while I unbox this, I gotta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some little insight about the, the wizard lamp. The wizard lamp debuted in 1973, and it started out to. It's called. It was made to mimic the look of a wizard's hat. And. I'm not sure if they continued making them or they stopped, but I haven't seen them very often, so I'm guessing they kind of just used up on it. Well, anyways, here we have all the content spread out. Here we got the we got the cables coming out, covered in styrofoam, which I'm not too swell, not too slim, not amazed about. Pull this out of here. The cone in there. There, yep, found a cap. Hopefully the light bulb's in there. There we go. Seems like it seems like it uses the um, traditional 25 watt bulb, which is which is fine. I'm fine with that. So anyways, here we got here we got the contents of the um, wizard lamp. Right here we got the of course the the globe, the base, and the cap. One thing that you might want to notice here about the um, wizard lamp is that the fact that it has a a dial on the um, on the lamp right here is just to turn it on. So this is part of their heritage collection. This, these lamps were made back in 1973, and well, they had much different uh, switches. So the base goes on like that, and the cap goes on like this, and boom, there we have the wizard. Now, how about firing this bad boy up? I haven't really kind of experimented with one of these since I'm not used to this kind of um, power switch. But let's see how we do it. Here's the moment of truth. Whoa! <laughs> I remember last time. I remember last time in the, in the last review. I forgot to. I thought it was broken. So let's, let's try this out. Hmm. That is strange. That is strange in, indeed. Look at on the inside. The it's pointing that way. It's pointing to the to a corner that way. It's not pointing straight up. It's pointing that way. So it's. So now I got the bulb in. The globe up. Let's see how this bad boy um. Let's see how this bad boy works. And here we go. Oh, what? I see now. Okay. So this dial right here, you can use it to turn up the brightness and turn down. So instead of you know just having to click it off immediately, you can just sort of power it down. And it's kind of creates a nice little effect. And one thing you probably might might not have noticed is the fact that the um, the base is, has stars on it. You can turn it on. And there we go. It's a it's a fairly unique lamp. It's a lot more different than these ones over here. These classic, well, these standard ones right here. This is much is much more of a heritage collector right here. It's, it looks rather nice. However, it's going to take quite some time to heat up, so I might want to ease up on the video right now and just wait for the for this little thing to heat up, and we'll continue from there. Now that it's more or less heated up, um, let's start um, discussing about it. This is the um, this, this, this is kind of how it looks like um, when it's kind of at its final heat up stages, and very soon it might start put, like you know blobbing up. Maybe during this um, during this time I'm talking right now, it might start looking like this. But it, it could take some time. With the time elapse, it was probably um, well, I stopped recording around like 3:30, 3 3:30, and it's still it's still been going on. I don't know. I mean. I mean, I mean, I mean, you can go back into the video and check the clock. It might have been like a 3:50, 3, I don't know, but it was around there. But anyways, I'm just rambling. Let's get on to the to the actual lamp. Well, the uh, colors are pretty standard. We have a, some standard uh, 
purple liquid and with um yellow wax, which is um pretty. It's pretty sta it's t it's standard issue for um lava lamps as I've seen on occasion. However, you know, I, I mean lava. I, I, I love you guys, but I mean it's kind of it, it'd be nice to get different colors besides orange and purple. The uh, dial works like a charm. Actually, you can turn it down right here, making make some of the colors look more vibrant. At, at this current stage, I'm not sure if um, I'm not sure if the dimness actually affects the lighting. It, it might it might affect the warm up pattern of it. It might take a little bit longer, but I mean it looks nice. So wow! So once I switch the lights off, it actually um it puts up a nice little show around here. It actually puts lights on the it actually puts some of the the stars and moons off the it's called the base onto the walls, which looks pretty nice. It, it looks damn near fantastic, actually. You can see it on my sleeve right now. It reflects out on the wall. And so far, this is probably one of the, uh, probably one of the most unique lamps I've ever gotten. Besides the volcano one, but I'm pretty um, how is it, uh, lukewarm to it. Okay, now let's start um being critical about this. Uh, the packaging could have been done a little bit better because um, as I was unboxing this, some of the styrofoam was was kind of stuck on the, some of the styrofoam got kind of stuck on the bottom of the base or the globe. And it started smelling badly. I, th I thought the lamp was burning. I thought that this was catching on fire, and I took the base off and took, had to pull some of the cider from off there. And, and, uh, that and um, well, I, I can't really find anything bad to say about it since it's, since it's an overall, it's an overall, mm, it's a pretty cool lamp. Right? That's all I can say about it. The base really adds the unique factor of this. And if it didn't have that, then I probably wouldn't have, you know. I probably would have given it a, a, a you know, it's an all right. Oh, the there it goes, it's now it's bubbling up. That, that, that's perfect. The stars really add to the unique factor. If you're if you're if you're really looking out there for like one of the for a lamp that looks genuinely unique, you might want to look forward and get the legend lamp. It's pretty big out there though. It's about as it's about on par with one of these almost, almost by a damn near inch. Apart from that, I really don't have much to say about this lamp. I mean, it's unique. The colors are pretty. Standard. I mean, if you if you have um the um if you have any one of these lamps right here, you probably um you probably know what it looks like. It looks exactly like the metallic purple and metallic purple and orange one. Now this lamp just looks obscene. I mean, look at that. What is that? But anyways, it's cut. It, it does feel nice to get one of the heritage collection lamps right here. I mean, it, it does look pretty good. It's got it takes up quite a bit of space. It's got as I gotta tell you, it takes. There are actually quite a few lamps I can go out there and get. Maybe the rocket lamp, which I haven't seen available, so maybe Lava Company, maybe we can put it back out there and maybe we can pick it up sometime. But yeah, this is the, the, this right here is a um is a borderline. Just go ahead and buy it. Don't even, don't don't even think twice about it. Just go out there and get this lava lamp. It's, it's really cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the review, give it a like down there. If you guys want to see more of what I have to do, including the cringe capsule. Um, Hit the subscribe button down there. I point I point to the wrong place every time. And yeah, as for me, I'll see you guys later.